it's all there. So check out my first three videos on the obelisks. Starts off slow but it gets better. You have to take it all and work your way up. Now it's about this is this so this video is about the cornerstone the builders rejected. Who's ever wondered what that meant? Well, I certainly have. I knew it was connected with the pyramids because the pyramids, Egyptians have left everything there for us. It's all part of the big picture. So it's connected with the corners of the pyramid. And it's the corners. The cardinal signs, corners, pyramid, whatever, it's all connected. Look, the cornerstone the bill is rejected. This is the fixed sign. As it comes around one face, comes back up. Because as it goes around the face, it goes down. Because that's what the sun does. It goes down three months. Then as it's turning, every day, 24, 7, 360 degrees every day, it's slightly coming up or going down, depending on which part of the season. So you see the gut winding down, to the solstice, December solstice, out down, and then it comes th three months back. So, so, as it's coming up, then it goes down the other face, then it comes back up the other face, and then down the other face. See, down, up, like this. So, I'm sticking with this fixed sign, meaning there it is, fixed in the middle. It's not affected with seasonal changes, but the corner points, the corners are. Okay, and it's to do with this point here. So anyway, then we have to look at this, corn. Corn doesn't represent that yellow stuff you eat. Look into it, trust me, it's at a time. Corn, at a time. As it turns the corner of the column in the center, Corinth, Corinth, core in. Core, apple cores in the centre, it's in th, the plinth. Plinth, Hathor segment. You've got to go deep into this, but it's representing the centre, the vortex in the centre here. There's the plinth in the centre, the bend bend stone, the rising of the stone coming out of the primordial deep. It, it, uh, this creation only happened once when the flood receded. What happens with your pineal gland? It's sitting in water, it's flooded. What happens when a man wakes up? It gets flushed out through your system, it's called the flood. It's a spiritual event. Your pineal gland is now high and dry, just like that ship up there on Mount Ararat. Core. You know, corn, core, all the sounds. In the beginning was word. What's word? Word is sound. Frequencies. This is why we can relate a lot of words from all different cultures to meaning the same thing. They'll pull down to the same thing. To go deep into Hebrew and break it all down, etymology or whatever. Uh, it's sounds. What about sound? In the beginning was word, but he heard a word. He hears your not. Your, your name is called three times. Anyway, back to this core. Core. Coriolis from the center of look it up yeah our flat earth the winds from the black hole vortex the T there and this is this is connected but Mary I was looking it just like I said like opening a can of worms Mary the Southern Cross Look on the phone, Coriolis fact. Look on the phone. So look on the phone. I'm going to look on the phone. I've got, I could probably do the whole video on everything I've got on the phone here. It's all connected. It just goes on and on and on. So you need to get comfortable and try and take all this in as I go. So let's go work my way this way. Oh, here we go. Right on the right page, eh? Um, the Mary tribes have different traditions about these stars. Some believed it was an anchor of a great sky canoe. 
glasses here. Um, now when we're talking it's a celestial set. So now when they start talking about canoes and stuff like that. Most likely talking about the Milky Way, which is a big boat. But the sun's in it. And the sun moves across the sky every night in the boat, doesn't it? The ancient, in ancient Egypt tales, mythological stories. So some believed it was an anchor of a great sky canoe or an opening in the sky that the winds blew through. So that's the Mary there, the Marys. They know about the black hole. Um, another thing, rabbits. What have rabbits got to do? What, what's Easter? What does it mean? Because the black hole with the sun on its horizon forms a, an egg shape. It's elliptical. There's the egg. It's golden because there's the sun on it. The golden egg. It's the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Climbing the vortex, the beanstalk, to get to the golden egg. And the rabbits, the black hole, the rabbit warren. So you've got the rabbit warren, black hole, and the, and the golden egg. That's the association with rabbits and eggs at Easter. Okay? Then we have this zodiac, about the zodiac signs. This is Mayan. Anu, why? You see half and half. So you can't you can't just look at one side of the star signs and ignore the other side. You have to get the alignment and look at it. This is how we get solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. NASA wants you to think you live on a spinning ball, and Earth goes and shadows the moon. Total BS. It's an alignment. It's a trinity. Whatever's happening, there's a sun in the centre, in the black hole. So it's what's ever happening. We don't, you don't see what's happening in the Middle East. We see it out here, out in the tropics. But you've got to understand the central, the image, to know what's happening out here in our realm. So whatever's happening around here, it's, you've got to correlate it with what's happening on the other side. It's a dual system. Yeah, everything's a dual system. Enlil plays a vital role in the Sumerian creation myth. He separates An, heaven, from Ki, earth. Well, that's like the Egyptian story. Shu, standing there, separating Newt, Nut, Nut, whatever you want to call it, sky goddess, with earth, Jeb. Earth Jeb, Shu standing there like this. He is representing the center vortex out of the center of the earth. So this is the Sumerian story. It's Ki key key Earth and An Heaven. Thus making the world habitable for humans in the Sumerian flood myth. Enel rewards Zeuzudra, Zeuzudra with immort immortality for having survived the flood. And in Babylonian flood myth, Enlil is the cause of the flood himself, having sent the flood to terminate the human race, who made too much noise and prevented him from sleeping. See, that goes deep. Too much noise and preventing him from sleeping, meaning state of rest. Man has to be in a state of rest here and here to have the connection, have the duality come into singularity, and boom, he will wake up. He'll have this spiritual awakening. So that's what they're referring to there, the noise preventing him from sleeping. And the flood, the, it's the spiritual awakening, having, having the flood. Enlil's name comes from ancient Sumerian En, meaning Lord, all Lil, and Lil. 